Hello, I'm Drendu Tyroff. I'm going to show you how to back up your Gary's Mod Workshop add-ons. Because there's a certain creator who is going to be removing a lot of this stuff, and some people use his stuff quite a lot. So, go onto your Gary's Mod on Steam. Right-click here, this bit here. Manage. After you've right-clicked, it shows all this stuff. You go to Manage. Browse Local Files. Click this. It opens this up. This is where all of your stuff for the game is stored completely. So this is everything, like the crash stuff, all the engine stuff, the actual app itself here, which is called HL2 because it's made with the source engine. And then you, you, where you need to go is here, this Gary's Mod folder. And then in here there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you actually can access yourself, like your dupes here, for example. And there's a bunch of other things here, but what we need is the add-ons folder. Now I've got it clicked to date modify, but it should, you know, be name at start but this is where all of your add-ons are stored you shouldn't have all of these you should have different stuff probably unless you subscribe to everything i have here um the add-on the .gma file should line up name wise with the actual workshop title so say it's if it's got brackets at the start be sort of square brackets it should have square brackets in its .gma and most of the time, the GMA should update to have the same name if the names change. Like these ones, for example, that have soon to be removed. And as such, because they are all updated like today or so to get soon to be removed, these are all the ones I need. But you might not be looking for soon to be removed. You might be looking for something else. Um, but that's not quite relevant just yet. Now that we know where those are, I know that they're all of these soon to be removed ones, which are all stored like alphabetically around here anyway. Um... But we need a folder within the add-ons folder. You need to make this yourself. You can just right-click, create new. You should know how to create a new folder. If you don't, what are you doing with your life? Um, Ooga Booga, that's what I'm calling mine. So now that we've got this, I am going to open it in a new window. Just to make things easier for myself. So now I have two uh, file explorers. All right, and that's the Ooga Booga one. This is the non Ooga Booga one. So I find the add-ons I need, which is in my case, all of these soon to be removed ones. Then, I, uh, what I do is I click that top one, I hold shift, and I click the bottom one, and that selects everything within those two. And if I say you just want to click the top and bottom, you should know how to do this. But if, if for anyone who doesn't know how to do this, uh, click the top one, hold control, click the bottom one, and it will just select those exact two. But if you hold shift, and click the top and then the bottom of the ones you need, if they're all together, like mine are, yours might not be, so you might need to use control to skip some, like here, for example, if you didn't want EMP chain, but you wanted SFM stuff, hold control, click that one. But I just need these. So I just did shift, select all of these. So then I need to move these or copy these over to Ooga Booga. Or whatever you're calling it. I'm calling mine Ooga Booga. And it didn't take too long because there wasn't too many add-ons. But if you're moving literally everything or significantly more than 41, that might take much longer. So they're all moved in here. If I was to launch up Gary's mod, it would update, it would, it would put new GMAs here, and date modified would be as the time I opened up Gary's mod, when they were added to Gary's mod. But here, the ones in Ooga Booga will remain the same. So this is how you have them all backed up for later usage. Now, I'm not going to show you how to extract GMAs uh, in today's video, but maybe if um, I find that you need to extract them to access them, uh, I'll make a follow-up to this. And I'll like link it on this video.